Hey, New Hope, Pastor Tommy here, and it is time for another weekly update and sermon teaser. So today I have my annual physical, and because my doctor is doing something different now, more um, elaborate testing, I had to uh, get a lot of blood work, a couple quarts, I think. Um, they had to do an ECG while I was there. They did a hearing test. They did an eye test. I had to stand barefoot on some kind of scaly thing that gave my BMI and weight and all this kind of stuff. Homer, this is a new body fat analysis test. I start to jiggling and measure how long it takes to stop. Woohoo! Look at that blubber fly! Yes. Nurse, cancel my one o'clock. And the good news is that um, apparently I have better than average grip strength. The rest of it, I'm not sure. In other words, I have to go back in two weeks and he'll go over all the test results and tell me whether I'm healthy or not. In other words, he's doing an in-depth dive into um, who I am and whether or not I'm healthy. And I should be glad for that. I am glad for that. I am thankful. Um, on the other hand, who likes having a physical? Who likes um, being poked and prodded? Who likes having questions asked of them if, as to whether or not they're really healthy? Like, so Tommy, do you eat salty snacks every night? Yes or no? Um, define every night, right? That kind of thing. None of us like it. And it's even harder, I think, on a church level when you start thinking about, is our church healthy? Maybe we need an exam. That's the job of the elders, right? To, to assess whether or not the church is healthy and to determine where it's healthy, where it's not healthy, and where it's not healthy to determine a course of action moving forward. That's where we are as a church. We've been in lockdown for over a year, and at some level, it's just right now, we're just going through the motions. I mean, we're doing things. We're, we're trying to pastor people. We're trying to keep in touch with people. We're trying to provide virtual services and in-person services. We're trying to do all those things. But are we really accomplishing the mission that God has for us? And given COVID, do we even still have the same mission that God gave to us? I mean, specifically, generally speaking, we should be loving God and loving our neighbor. But specifically in this context, what does that mean? So one thing I'd like you as a church to be praying about is just this, our elders getting together, whether it's for a retreat or whether it's kind of some kind of Zoom meeting, um, it's really hard over Zoom, to start to ask these kind of questions, to begin to assess where we are as a church and where we need to go. One, our clerk put it best, I think, that we would ask Jesus, Jesus, what is your mind for our church in 2021? What would you have us do? What would you have us to, to be? The other question that has brought up. If you remember a couple of years ago, our church um, has never had a policy on whether or not women can be elders in our church. They've just always assumed that at some point the church voted no. Well, we've not been able to find any documentation of that vote no, so that falls to our particular session to have that discussion, to do the studies, to talk to people and decide whether or not that's a thing for our church. Now remember, we're a part of the Evangelical Presbyterian Church where we, the first line of the, the Evangelical Church's motto is in uh, all things, in, in essentials, uh, unity, and in non-essentials, liberty. So the question is, is this a non-essential or is it an essential? Um, according to the EPC, it's a non-essential, by the way. Um, either way, well, um, we told the church that we would come up with some decision by about a year from now. And so we need to be talking about that. So be praying for us. There's no easy answers to all that. I mean, the biggest challenge ahead of us is how to actually have that meeting. In, in other words, does anyone want to have big strategic meetings by Zoom? I don't, but we might not have any other choice. So anyhow, how about this week? This week we are looking at Jesus feeding the 5,000. I think the Jesus Storybook Bible calls it filled full. And it's a great passage. All of them are great or they wouldn't be in the Jesus Storybook Bible. But it, it really looks back to God's provision to Israel in the wilderness. But it also looks forward to Jesus' ultimate provision for us at the great wedding feast of the Lamb. And of course, since it looks backward and it looks forward, it means there's something that, that is important for us to understand right now. 
that Jesus provides for us right now. Not only does he provide for us, but he satisfies us, or at least he should satisfy us. So we'll talk about that this coming week. As far as worship, we will be worshiping. Of course, we're doing the virtual thing and we're worshiping in person. And frankly, things have already changed again since they changed before. Um, We thought there was going to be congregational singing. Now there are 15 people allowed to be in a choir, space six to nine feet apart. The band can be up front. Um, And so in some sense, we're going to have more musicians, but church is essentially going to be the same live. Sorry about that. I wish I was in control of it, but I'm not. Anyhow, I look forward to seeing you all this weekend, whether virtually or in person. Pastor Tommy out.